Hey, I just wanted to have a little quick discussion with all my subscribers and kind of check in and see how everybody's doing and and everything. I was just driving back home from the from the home spot, which I'm only five seconds from. This is still our property, and uh, saw these cows out here, uh, my father-in-law's beef cows, and it just got me to thinking about how grateful I am just to live in a place like this, to not be disconnected from where our food comes from. I mean, just look at these cows. Half of them are laying down in the sun, enjoying life. They've got babies, you know, eating grass. I mean, they are just enjoying life. Um, it's just a privilege, a personal... I take it as a personal privilege to be able to have food that lived this way. You know, they're not cramped up, pooping all over each other and and whatnot. They've got, just in that pasture alone, they've got like 150 acres to just, they can go all over the place and just, just enjoy themselves. And there's only maybe, I don't know, 30 or so cows for this 150 acre pasture. There's other cows other places, but I mean, you know... And then all your other animals are the same way. You know, your chickens, you just let them go in the yard. They eat bugs and and flop around and play and, and do what chickens want to do, you know. They give you all the, all the fresh, healthy eggs you can eat. When it comes time, they stop laying. You can butcher them. I mean, obviously, they'll be kind of old and tough, but but you know they had a good life. Same Same thing with pigs. You know, I know I understand that some people pin them up in little tiny pins and they think that's fine and and all that. I don't personally like that, you know. I don't I don't know. It just makes me feel a lot better if they've got at least, you know. I'd say the pin that we'll make for our hogs will be there'll be two pigs in there and it'll be probably 40 feet by 40 feet. And, you know, even that they'll stomp down to, to bare ground. But, I mean, that's still enough room where they can run and play and f roll around in the mud and sniff, snoot and snort and sniff around and <laughs> just do what pigs do. You know, goats, the goats, they, you know, unless you do woven wire fence, they go right, they crawl right underneath barbed wire. So they go, psh, man, they've got... A thousand acres of property they can just go anywhere they want to pretty much and, you know I've never had any problems with them running off or getting stolen or anything they always every morning they're back at the home so or at least that's been my experience with them but I just it just got me got my mind to think in there for a second what what a great privilege it is to to be able to give an animal a good life like this and and know that when you're eating that steak or eating that hamburger that that cow just was thrilled its entire life completely content i mean i i can walk up to these cows and pet them on the nose they're not they're not afraid they're not nervous you know they're used to be moving from pasture to pasture if i open that gate right there and let them out they would follow my vehicle right up the gravel road. They wouldn't try to go off in the ditches or anything. They'll just follow you around and they're just completely content wherever you want them to go, you know. I just thought what a great what a great thing to be able to eat food, know where it came from, know that it wasn't mistreated or anything like that and just feel happy about you know, it's, it's never a happy thing to, to kill something, but you know at least that it had at least a, as good a life as a cow would have in the wild, if not better. You know, they're not starving, they're good and fat, so... Anyways, I just thought I would share that little thought.